5G is something that uh, will change the game for the industry moving forward. 5G is, will be a big change, not only for the MNO, but also for the infrastructure company like us. Moving from a hardware-defined network to into a software-defined network, where initially we will focus on just our power and passive infrastructure, we will move into more fiber, antenna as a service, and more into active components. In that respect, the sort of service that we'll be offering will include edge computing, will include private network. What that means to the whole organization is we need to transform the skill sets of the people in the organization as well. In the past, we, are, we have more of a hardware engineers. We probably need to which do a lot of probably RF planning. In moving forward, we we'll probably need to hire a lot more uh, uh, software engineers to deal with the active component. We have started our 5G journey by doing many pilots on some of these 5G services, which included OpenRAN and we're also testing edge computing at this point in time. The results so far has been quite encouraging with more network sharing that's expected from 5G moving forward given the challenge, challenging business case that Abeno are actually saying. Infrastructure sharing is the way to go. And we at Edoco, we believe that given our neutral position, we are in the best position to capitalize on this opportunity. On top of uh, doing pilots uh, for all the 5G services, today we have also started accumulating and securing street furnitures across nation to make sure that uh, we actually secure some of this to cater for the 5G services uh, uh, tomorrow. This is important given the fact that with 5G, we know that the distance between sites are going to get closer. And in most of the city areas, for example, building towers would be challenging and hence street furnitures would be the solution. We started all this initiative over the last two years or so and today we have accumulated quite a sizable street furniture uh, in most of the countries in most of the countries that we are operating in. This we believe will give us the added advantage uh, when 5G comes into stream, where we are able to offer all the street furniture, the street furniture that we have secured to the MNO. When we actually secure the street furniture, we are taking existing furniture that's already there or working together with local council in terms of building new street furnitures. This comes together with part of their planning for expansion of Wi-Fi services uh, and all that has, that's embedded into part of the urban uh, uh, planning by the local authorities. So all this is actually built in conjunction with the local authorities in terms of their plan, how do you want to expand in terms of their telecommunication services uh, across uh, the cities.